What up, Solar Benecton only here, back doing some more League of Legends action. Hey, buddy. You're gonna have to tank that now. Okay. I mean, Graves can solo the buff without needing any help. If he just kites around the side, uses dash here, and kites here. I played a decent amount of Graves jungle. I know you can do that by yourself. Uh, I don't know what this guy started. I guess we will find out. I'll trade that Q for an auto all day. Alright, sweet. Alright. Again, I'll take that trade. You start a Q, obviously. I'm gonna try and push his wave back. It's a little hard because he got the shove. Because he got level 2 first. I'll take this trade all day. There we go. I should have my potion taken. That was really bad. There's no play there. I'm just dead. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to get some farm. But once this guy TPs, then I don't want to stay anymore. Because I will die. Alright, I'll take it. Run back to lane. Um, sorry, did his red buff, huh? Window clears very fast. He does. I should be able to get back and get most of this farm. Whatever, I'll take that trade. If Mundo sits here, that would really suck. But he can't really stop me. He should be okay. We get most of this EXP. Okay, I went super hard for a plate. Weird play. I'll definitely try and get aggressive here. Thing is, Mundo could be invading my jungle. Although there's nothing for him to really get. Try and end. Oh, does he just win that trade? Oh my, how the fuck did I go into it? Dude, come on. In what universe did I walk into that at the end? I mean, obviously this universe, but that blows. I'm <laughs> just waiting to get some health back from my passive. Then we can try and make a play again. He's just looking for an E play. He's gonna look to hit me right here. Ooh, I wonder why he's playing so passive. Use our W. Noise, get a ward down. Right, we're going for the Triforce uh, Black Cleaver build here. Trap Force Black Cleaver with attack speed boots. Ooh, not today, buddy. I shielded. Alright, let's try and shove this wave in, get it to bounce. Should be good. Even wave his side of the map that pushes to me. I can rotate. This guy's super dead. Problem here is, uh, yeah, Mundo's just gonna come top lane. Yep. Not too much to be done about that. I don't know if he's right here or not. He is. I'm pretty sure he knows where, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure he knows where my jungle is. Because Muda's running away immediately. He's not just like hiding in that bush trying to make a play on me. Uh, we just need to wait till level 6 and we can make plays. Just keep getting these poke damage hits, walking away. As long as he's not getting a full trade and then using his W on me, he should be good. Okay. Let me like make an opening so I can actually catch this guy next time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that sucks. Easy peasy. Don't take my cannon, I missed it anyways. Alright. <laughs> Not bad. Shove the next wave. I have Demolish so we can get a plate for sure. And he already TP'd last time. So we should be good here. Nice. Demolish is so good now. 
I started running it again after they buffed towers this patch. They buffed towers up to 160 gold from 120. So pretty sizable buff. I think we want to try and get the next plate. Should be able to do it pretty quickly. There we go. Sweet. Two plates. Let's get out. Basically even in farm. I'm going to come back with some more damage. Lovely. Yeah, it was a little scary because I didn't have ult and he was going to hit level 6 first, which he did, obviously. That was kind of scary. Alright, back to lane. Not bad. But yeah, going for the Triforce plus Black Lever build. Again, we're going to get 40% CDR for two items, which is kind of ridiculous on this champ. Able to run around like at a billion movement speed, constantly getting buffed up damages. And then we're just going to shred people super hard when we get our E on them. We'll have attack speed boots as well, so we'll get even more attack speed there. Which equals more E spins. That should be an easy kill. Nice job. Get out of my way, minions! Oh my god. I should always look to fight whenever he wastes abilities like that. But he's gonna sit back. Mundo's popping off, bro. Mundo is popping off. I'll look for a fight here if this guy walks up. Waiting on it. Waiting on it. Let's disengage. Definitely want to dive right now. See if we can get a fight. I'm going to shove. Try and push. Oh, dude, he actually heals so much. Didn't they nerf some of the regen a little bit? Damn. I guess you get regen off of uh, this other item. Yeah, I'm not fast enough to catch this guy and like make those plays happen yet. It's alright. Push the wave in, get the wave to bounce. Look for an opportunity. We might have Mundo come topside though, so we gotta be a little careful about that. So as this wave starts pushing, we can look for a play. Sweet. Not really trying to affect the minion wave here. I want it to push toward me. But if I can get like a free Q off on him like that, I will take it. Or he wastes his E like that. <laughs> Sweet. This wave keep pushing. Beautiful. In the bush, drop aggro. Keep the minions pushing. We're just trying to get a little bit of damage on him as we let this wave keep pushing. It's important. That way our play will be a little easier. When he actually overextends. Uh oh. I'm moving down. Oh my god, how the fuck did he get it off before? Dude, he's silenced! That is so annoying, man. Oh my god. That is so annoying. I'm like, alright, let me just silence him real quick and then kill him. Oh, apparently, this does not work. Now I can't fight the guy because he has... Oh my god. That's so tilting, dude. That's <laughs> so tilting. Oh, fuck me. Alright. Oh, whoops. Oh my god, that's so lame, dude. That should have been an easy kill. He messed up so hard face checking that bush. I got so much damage off on him for free. Oh, I didn't miss that? As long as we dodge that, he has no grit built up. It's very easy. Uh, I still just need to kind of reset here. I'm not too upset with him just AFK pushing waves into me. Because I can just chill in lane, farm this up, and then come back. Because I don't want to leave and give him a bunch of plates. That's the thing I'm worried about. Again, even when he actually hits it, it doesn't matter. Doran's shield will trigger. I'll get healing off of that. My passive will kick, or will kick in. I'll get healing off of that. 
I'm fine just having him shove another wave into me. I mean, wait for his Q to wear off. Nice little disengage like that. Just wait for our cooldowns. Try not to miss all the farm along the way. Remember what we're here to do. Make sure I don't go under tower there. I can kill him with my next QR. I don't even understand what the fuck just happened, bro. I truly don't understand what the fuck just happened. <laughs> okay. Did I click a minion? Apparently I clicked a minion. I mean, I was just trying to path toward him so I could flash Q. That's pretty dope. You're good. I mean, you can't really leave. Oh, man. I just get this plant, we're good. Wins am I right now? Am I lagging? I am lagging. I'm dropping frames. Oof. Uh, we actually have a kill here if he stays up in lane. Okay. No, 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 no. Not this time, punk. Press the W key. I knew he was going to try and ult me instead of Wing. Because they try and ult you, bring you here, under tower, and then they try and W. And I saw how he was pathing, so it was kind of obvious what the play he was going for. Push to take tower. We got uh, demolished again. We did that with a ton of gold, by the way. The next time we come back to lane, we're going to smash this kid. The Q movement speed to get around his uh, W is actually really nice. I won't get this, but it's fine. Might be able to get it actually on this wave. If I can shove in quick enough. I won't have Demolish here, but I have Q. And the tower lost a lot of armor. Went down to 40. Sweet. 3,500, 3,600 gold. It's not ideal, but... <laughs> I don't know. We got some opportunities. The guy was the guy teleported back. Oh, lame. The guy, he's, he's gonna get this tower. He teleported back, so he stopped me from having like a good back timing. Because if I left, he would have gotten like three plates or something, two plates. I didn't want to give up that gold. And then I was like 300 gold away from my Triforce. So I was like, all right, I'll just stay. And then I got like an opportunity for a really good trade. And then I got an opportunity for a really good dive. And it just kind of kept snowballing like that. Uh, going like this, this, sweet. So attack speed, boots, and uh, Triforce. Ridiculous combo. You run at 404 movement speed. If you get uh, any hits on minions, you get 20 additional movement speed, or, or basic attacks rather, and uh, kills give you 60. It's the other one, the Rage Blade one, where it's any hits. So they share passives, but you get a little extra value. Oh my god, dude, the attack speed's so nutty. The attack speed funnels into your spins as well, so you get more spins. Yeah, I can run down there. See what's going on. Probably shouldn't use my Q to get there. Alright, get a ward down. Probably want to play around that dragon. More so than the rift. Might be able to do rift and then get dragon though. I really missed that cannon. Come on. Unbelievable. I might try and do this myself. See if I can get it. I do do a lot of damages. Oops, he should have. Oh, he's gonna come for me. Right. He just went MIA after pushing one wave. That makes me think he's gonna rotate on me. I'm not 100% sure, but. Okay. Apparently not. Oh. I'm here. 
Come to this side. I mean, you gotta kind of run to me, buddy. I'm super dead. <laughs> I thought I had teammates coming. I didn't have anybody helping. I get this, get this. Foolish death. I thought we were going to make the collapse on them. It was one, two enemies, and then me behind, Nautilus here, Graves here. So, in my head, that's three against two, but our three took way too fucking long to collapse. So then the enemy followed up. And then our three against two became, what, four against three? Us being the three, them being the four. Actually, five. Yeah. Hmm. I have everything up. I'm massive right now. Just need to find some plays. What's our Q cooldown? 5.6. W is 16.1. three Or 6.3 on this. 70 seconds on ult. Dude, we should just go for like ult ignite plays every time we can. Like I should be smashing this guy at this point. 221 damage procs on this as well. All right, we need them to kind of group up here though. So I can get some free time, push towers. Cause if they're not grouped up, I don't really know where enough people are. It makes it hard for me to do what I want to do. All right, I see enough. They're in mid lane fighting this guy. I'm looking to fight this guy, 100%. Kill him under tower. I just got a bail here. I think we can win this fight. There you go. Don't chase that. Oh man, set live with like one HP again. Window flashed for me. Kind of a pain in the ass. Doing like a full damage build. He hurts, but I can't turn and fight him because I have other people on me right there. And I already used ult and ignite on the, on the other guy. I'll take it. I'm gonna go shove bot. As long as my team just groups up as four, I think we're we're gonna be fine here. Because this guy cannot deal with me at all, and they're gonna have to send multiple people to deal with me every time. One downside is they actually have ridiculously good wave clear. This guy could just sit there and clear all four of them. We might need to one three one, but we could do that because this guy has teleport. I want to be top lane with TP. This is weird. Oh my god. Oh, okay. This guy's going insane. Oh, this guy just has nothing yet. It's like, how is he doing this much damage? He's destroying this guy. We don't want to fight their whole team. Uh, you want to leave. He's like posturing up like he can do anything. They could just run at you. This is perfect though. We don't know. I don't know why Ziggs is here. He should be in mid lane. But if he wants to cover me, it's fine. He's going to cover one lane and that person's not going to be able to shove, basically. I mean, you can shove, you're just not going to be able to take towers. Because they'll always be able to be able to answer the wave. But if we get one guy in top lane, or it doesn't really matter what lane they're in. Just if we won three one, so one guy in one lane, one guy in another lane, and then three in, in, in the other lane. That's really what we want to do here, pull them apart. Because then they're just going to send like two people like this. They're sending two people for me. That means we get numbers advantage in the other lane. I mean, theoretically, this guy just went back to base for no reason, but. Hey, what are you going to do? Hopefully they start pushing waves because MF can't defend three people. All right, so now they left. Now I want to push. They have three mid. We have to do this just because of how much wave clear they have. And it's literally one champion.
Cool. They could send people for me again. I don't have good vision right now. We have four versus one. Oh, no, they're fighting in mid. All right. So if they fight in mid, then I want to just take towers. And hopefully this guy teleports if he has to. Mm, I'm going to shove more. Just keep going. They're going to go for dragon. They get kills. Just keep going. Hopefully we can clear. Ooh. If he comes and fights, this would be great. I would definitely kill. There we go. Chub this. I'm gonna go help. Uh, are they winning that? I'm moving. I'm behind them. I don't know if I can catch him. This is the better call. Yeah. Nice. This is good. He's got that kill. Start this up. Sweet. I think we Baron off of this. Oh, I hope he didn't just smite. Alright, good. We can Baron off of this. We have Vayne. Vayne does percent HP damage. Very good against Baron. Alright. That's pretty good. Force out them to split with this guy. Force him to have to... Force that to have to cover me. Sorry, English is hard right now. I don't know why. Force that to have to cover me. Ended up getting the 1v1. Get tower pressure off of that. But then it became a better idea just to collapse on them. Kills. Open up objectives. We gotta make sure we get them when we get the kills. We just want to bail here. We don't want to fight. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Just reset, bro. I have 3,000 gold. This man's trying to fight. We all have so much gold here. Please don't be dumb. Oh my god. Alright. Lol. Uh, probably gonna go dead man still here. Grab this as well. Go bot lane. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Actually, top might be better. Dragon will be up in three-ish minutes. Alright. Yeah, we killed Set with ultimate. I don't know. It was off the screen. I'm not sure. I, everybody saw it. Yeah, we, we got her with ult. Or him. I would say her. Alright. Let's shove. We are super strong right now. Level 16 coming up in half a wave as well. Or probably this whole wave, actually. Oh, that's cannon? Yeah, definitely. Actually, maybe not. Ooh, no. I think we're one off. Yep. They just need to back up until I can actually get pressure. We need to do multiple waves at once. As long as they don't get hit by a hook right there, I get this for free. I'm just going to run under and take. Level 16, that's big. Keep pushing. All my team has to do is not die right here. Beautiful. Man, this guy, dude. I think I just stay under and kill it. I just got a bail here. We got the tower, let's get out. We force them all back up. That means we get pressure on mid. Now we just wait and get potions, or passive. They could fight mid, potentially. I have to be very careful here, I don't want to get hit. We need to heal up. We can look for these plays, I like them a lot. Yeah, I like this play a lot. The flank play. Good shit, boys. Take tower. This is how you gotta play against... Got him. Here? This is how you gotta play against Ziggs. Super annoying wave clear champion. You need to push multiple waves. Too often, uh, teams against... Anivia is the same way. If they have this much wave clear... Oh, we can just end. If they have this much wave clear, you just have to do multiple waves at once. You don't have a choice. I just cannot believe he has time, like, I can't silence, do one other thing. Like, I have to literally silence ultimate. Oh my god, I'm dropping so many frames right now. I literally, <laughs> I'm like, crashing. Oh my god. 
Hello? Stream? Yeah. Stream dying over here. But it's alright. I record these locally, so stream could crash and I'd still get the recording. So it's all good. I'll take it. Uh, Graves played pretty well, man. He played pretty well. Our farming was really good. We pressured the sky a lot. Avoided the trades. Did most damage on our team. Pretty happy about that. Yeah, Zig's damage is just wild though. But he's poking. All my stuff is like, I'm in melee range. I'm trying to kill you when I use it. You know what I mean? So, pretty damn effective this build. I like it, man. It's pretty good on bruisers. It's pretty good. I don't know if it's good on Renekton. I don't think so. Because I'm just not a big fan of Triforce on Renekton. Attack speed feels somewhat wasted. Movement speed is like, okay. Mana obviously is wasted. Uh, the passive hit isn't that big compared to... Excuse me, compared to like the people who are really good with Triforce. It's comparable to Jax. Like it does similar damage to Jax. But Jax will use it way more than Renekton will. But Garen has like super high base uh, AD. That's why the damage proc is so high. Because it's 200% of base AD. Same thing with Darius. Same thing with Alawi. Same thing with Yorick. These are all super high base AD champions. But anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time and I'll catch you guys then. If you're watching over on YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream. I stream every single day, 6 a.m. to 12 noon EST. Follow and be alerted when I go live. Thanks for watching. Peace.